Welcome back to the channel. Now today I have a Sony 24mm f2.8 G lens for review. Now this is one of Sony's um, lightweight um, prime lenses that they introduced about a year ago. And weighing in at 191 grams and measuring 70 millimeters from the camera mount to the lens hood and around 68 millimeters in diameter. Indeed this is a very compact lens and paired with the A7C uh, makes a good combination of lightweight portable full frame camera gear. Now they also pair well with um, many of Sony's APS-C camera bodies as well which as you can see it's fairly compact in size and very lightweight like I say at, an, at 191 grams it's not going to add too much weight to like the APS-C bodies but we'll be testing this on a full frame Sony A7C. The first thing I notice about this lens is it is very well made. It, it feels like metal. I haven't looked into the actual composition of the lens but it feels metallic-y. So let's have a look around this lens. First thing I notice is the aperture ring and it has got clicks on it from f2.8 in one third stops all the way through to f22 and then there's another firm click through to A which is automatic so you can control the aperture via the camera. Now the other thing with this lens on this side of the body yeah, is it's got a de-click switch so you can click the aperture to smooth and then you can rotate the aperture ring smooth as butter and that'd be good for all video shooters who want to change the aperture while they're filming and into auto so the aperture click switch on and off and it also has a autofocus manual focus switch on the lens so you can switch it into manual focus and of course uh, focuses by wire but it turns very very smoothly just like the aperture ring when it's declicked it's smooth as butter so all those who want to shoot via manual focus you've got that option and there's also a focus hold button on the side of the lens as well so it's it's fairly fully featured lens but on the back it has a little rubber gasket around the edge you can feel that but it's just it's very very small now on the front we have FE 2.8 24mm G lens 0.24 of a meter is your close focusing distance or 0.79 of a foot and it has a 49mm filter thread which a lot of the smaller Sony primes have that uh, filter size so you have a lens hood as well you line up the two red dots click into place and that feels pretty well made as well it's either very thick plastic or it's aluminium I, I'm saying this I'm pre predicting it's aluminium and of course your lens cap so there we have it. So in New Zealand this retails for $1149 which I think is a pretty good price uh, considering it's from what I've seen 
of the image images were taken with us so far, it's pretty good quality. It's pretty good resolution on on the on this um, little lens. And as for like I say, it's very lightweight, easy to stick in your pocket. Um, if you go to like the f 1.4s, you're going to be way bigger, way heavier, and more costly. But I think this is a pretty good uh, mid-range um, prime lens for the, the Sony E-mount system. So now we'll move on to image samples and some video samples as well. And you take a look at, at the resolution on these samples and see what you think of them and the video clips. Now I thought those image samples and the video clips come out pretty well. Um, I don't see any um, big deficiencies in the in the lens quality itself. Um, I'm not doing a fully tech um, spec sort of um, video on on the technical aspects of this lens, as in terms of like the uh, image quality charts that a lot of reviewers use. I don't have access to any of those. Uh, I use images from the real world outside in a normal everyday shooting situation rather than being in a studio and, and you know shooting test charts and stuff like that. I would rather um, take it outside and shoot natural subjects. And as far as I can see, it works really, really well and yeah, I'm very pleased with the images that come off it and the video samples as well. And this, the all these images and the video samples were taken on the A7C, which is filming me now. Pros and cons. <clears throat> um, pros: um, lightweight, small, compact. Take the lens hood off it, and you got a very small, compact lens that works extremely well. I take the lens cap off it as well. You can see how small that is in my hand. Very short, very lightweight lens from Sony. Other pros are like the D-click switch on it. That's a really good feature. The manual focus, autofocus switch and the focus hold button and the aperture ring. Not all lenses have all these buttons and switches, 
some will only have a focus ring on them and that's about it but yeah I think um, Sony have given us very good value in this uh, little lens now cons price mm, maybe it would have been nice if it was a f1.8 but then again it would have been a bit larger and heavier as well and possibly a little bit dearer <laughs> for that price but yeah I can't uh, really fault it at all um, in my testing I think it's great little lens I'd be happy that like this is my wife's lens she's got on her a7c um, I'd be happy enough to use this any day as a walk around lens it's great I think it's a great little lens final thoughts on this lens great little lens good performance on it fantastic autofocus performance being on a, a Sony lens on a Sony body native lens on an on a on the um, Sony body it gives fantastic autofocus performance and uh, it's hits the focus point straight away nails it every time I can't really fault fault the focus on it and it's fairly quiet too I mean I, I don't my hearing's not you know perfect but I can't hear any noises from the autofocus motors in this um, when they're focusing on anything um, and the image quality on this is is brilliant and it's nicely balanced on the a7c on a a7r a7 III camera body for instance it may look a little small but it's not it wouldn't be it wouldn't be out of place I would say it's it'd be a good good little size for any any Sony camera system really even the ZV-E10 um, which is this camera up here filming the overhead shots um, so I'd, I'd be happy to put on any Sony body really would I recommend it definitely um, if you're in the market for a wide-angle walk-around lens uh, good quality uh, fully featured can't beat it um, although in saying that um, Samyang do make a 24mm f1.8 which is a bit cheaper but it's also a bit larger as well that um, video is coming up next um, in the next episode so um, I hope you look forward to seeing that as well um, I'll be doing a few different lens reviews um, like I say the, the Samyang 24mm is next up in line after this one but yeah that's pretty much it for this review of this little lens um, so with that I'll say goodbye and thank you all for watching and I hope you liked the video and we'll see you again on the next one